What's up everybody, this is Kevin Rivera. You also may know me as Tupac Remix or DJ Scanless. I just wanted to do this short video to let you guys know that my YouTube play button just came in the mail today for 100,000 subscribers. I passed that mark around September 7th, 2017. I had this channel since 2013. So it took me roughly about almost five years to get that mark and now it only took me like two months to get 230,000 subscribers. So that's where I'm at today, 235,000 subscribers, 95 million views. And I just wanted to do this video to talk about um, how I came about and to really thank all my fans that have been following me since 2009, since my very first mixtape. 2009, follow me on my, all my social media channels that constantly like my videos and share my videos to everybody. I just want to say thank you for all the support and I hope you continue to share my videos and continue to support me for years to come. I'm going to keep pumping out as much content as I can to keep you guys happy and to keep spreading the message of good positive vibes and good positive themes and messages in hip hop music that you know a lot of music today is severely lacking. The reason I make you know, like Tupac remixes or Eminem remixes it's because they have a message and they can inspire you, they can get you out of the mood whether you're depressed or whether whether you're angry. Um, and a lot of like Tupac songs and Eminem songs and um, other rappers such as Notorious B.I.G. and stuff, most of their music has a message, a story that you can, you don't really have to relate to, but you can just follow along and you can catch really a understanding of what life for them is like or life for someone else is like and a lot of music today doesn't really do that a lot of music today is just about a catchy beat you know you repeat the same thing a lot of rappers can't even rhyme half the time so that's why I really enjoy 90s music and I really like making 90s music and how I, that came about is I was always a Tupac fan growing up because my brother would always be in the room listening to Tupac songs just till, till I rise album and I just you know, from overhearing it, I just became an instant fan, and I actually traded, you know, the Slim Shady album in 1999 on my school bus with All Eyes On Me album, so that's how I really became a fan, and it wasn't until like around 2006, 2007 that I started being on the forums and on the websites where, you know, a lot of fans engaged and shared, you know, information and music, and that time, you know, there was all the conspiracy, Tupac is live, how is he making all this music, and then, you know, DJs would make remixes, and, you know, Tupac's not really songs and rich versions would come out, so it was really a great platform for fans to gather together and share and, you know, have love for the music. And what, what really happened, I, I noticed people started remixing songs back then, and I just got the idea, hey, I, I like this song, I wish it was on this beat. Or I wish this rapper was on this song. So I just started filling around. I think it was like a wave pad or something on. Um, I think I had it like a Packard Bell, you know, Window XP, which was really crap back then, you know. And really, I would just copy and paste the vocals over the beat. I didn't, I didn't understand really that you got to match the vocals with the beat at the same pace and everything, as if they were there rapping on that beat. So everything back then was off beat, just sounded terrible, and I just kept doing it and doing it. And you know, it was really the Tupac fans that would say, hey, this is shit, or this is great. And you know, and, and that's how I improved, you know, the criticism that I used to get. Um, a lot of my early songs were really terrible, but you know, I, I guess the concepts were good, and you know, a lot of people kept following me because of that. And you know, it wasn't really into like 2009 where I started like doing mixtapes like all the other DJs on the Tupac sites and stuff. So I started doing mixtapes, started uploading and people started following me and um, liking my music and you know I, I never really envisioned my channel growing to 100,000 or 235,000 subscribers. It really was just about making music that I liked and that I think other people might like and music that people can, they can, they can gain an understanding and you know, it can really help them in their life, you know, and that's one of the main things why I like doing what I do, because now I get to read all the comments on like my songs like If I Die Young, where people say that they listen to their song or they play their song at their parents' funeral or something like that. So 
um, or they say like the song helped me get through this or the song helped me you know get over, get over my depression or the song helped me get over my um, addiction to drugs or something um, and really it's Tupac's words or Eminem's words but it's me rehashing the song so that old fans can appreciate it and also new fans can be gained to that and overall by me making remixes and other people making remixes, newer fans will be exposed to the original catalog and the original music that he made and other rappers. So I think it's a win-win for everybody. Um, so I'm just very appreciative that people continue to listen to his music and continue to listen to my remixes. So I, I just wanted to say that before I get into showing you the play button. Now I'm just going to go show you. <laughs> All right, well, here's the box here. Don't mind my whey protein that's up over there. That's why I do my spare time. Let me just get out of the box first. All right, so this is what the main box looks like that just came in the mail. It actually, you know, I put in for like September 7th or 8th, so it really took about all these months you know five months some people get it as late as seven months and I already mostly doubled my subscriber count so it's kind of crazy that it took this long but I guess with the engraving and everything and maybe they, they get up they gotta verify whether you know you keep the subscribers because it can fluctuate you know someone can get a hundred thousand and then they, they can instantly drop now this is the, um, the letter that I think is probably you know a general letter that they send to everybody. Probably just go ahead and read it if you can't see it. You've just done something that very few YouTube creators accomplish. You had the astonishing 100,000 people subscribe to your channel. We know that numbers on YouTube can get really big, but we hope that you don't lose sight of the reality behind the six digit milestone. Each and every person who has subscribed to your channel has been touched by what you created. They were inspired, challenged, or entertained. You achieved this milestone with hard work, perseverance, and probably a healthy sense of humor too. What you've accomplished can't be taken away from you. And we like to recognize you and all your hard work with the Silver Creator Award, a small token of our esteem and respect. We know that you don't do this for rewards. You do it because you have drive to create and share and because you found an audience who cares believe us when we say that we can't wait to see what you do next a million subscribers may seem a long way off right now but you're closer than you think and we're rooting for you congratulations sincerely okay so that's the letter now let's see what this baby looks like Let me take the plastic off. So there you go. There's my YouTube 100,000 subscriber play button. It's pretty big. It's about the size of a book. Maybe a little bit bigger. About the size of a Kindle. And I got Tupac Remix put on here since it's my channel name. You can put your real name or you can put an alternate, you know, channel name. But I just decided to go with that. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing and following me and supporting me. I see you when you